Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the concept of degrees of freedom. And I think that this is possibly one of the least well understood concepts in statistics, and partly because it's often just stated without any reasoning. In this video, I'm going to give a graphical example of what degrees of freedom means. And in the next video, we're going to talk about what degrees of freedom means in regard to statistics. So let's think about having some sort of graph where I've got sort of y on my um, vertical axis and x on my um, horizontal axis. And we're thinking about drawing some straight lines. So we've got the sort of general equation for a straight line, y equals mx plus c, where m represents the gradient and c represents the y-intercept. So if I am free to vary both m and c, then I can draw infinitely many curves, which sort of intersect the y-axis wherever, and also have whatever gradients I want. So they can be sort of sloping upwards, they can be sloping downwards, they can be flat. I can draw infinitely many curves that way. Well, let's think about the similar sort of example, whereby I, I'm again drawing straight lines, except I'm now not free to vary the constant c. So here I have sort of y equals mx plus, let's say, 2. So the y-intercept always has to be 2 for all of the straight lines which I draw. So let's say 2 is some point here. I can still draw infinitely many straight lines um, that go through that intercept um, just by varying the gradient. Yeah, so, but notice that all of these lines have to go through this point here too. So we're sort of constrained here in that we're only free to vary one thing. We're only free to vary m. In this example, we say that we only have one degree of freedom, so we can only vary our gradient of our lines. Whereas in this previous example, we have two degrees of freedom, in that we are free to vary both m, the gradient of the lines, and c, the y-intercept. Similarly, if I um, was to actually vary the um, y-intercept and holding sort of m constant, so maybe holding m at like, let's say, sort of 5, then that will define a whole sort of family of curves which are all parallel to one another, and except they have sort of y, different y-intercepts. Again here, we only have one degree of freedom. Yeah, there are only, there's only one parameter which we can vary given the constraint that we place on our system. So we've, we've got a constraint that m is going to be equal to 5, so we can only vary c. And notice finally that if I actually constrain my sort of gradient to be equal to 5 and my y-intercept to be equal to 2, well, in fact, I can only draw one line which satisfies those two constraints. It's a sort of straight line which goes through the point y equals 2 and, and slopes upwards. So in this last example, we actually only have, we don't actually have any degrees of freedom. So in fact, we have zero degrees of freedom. So I hope that this video has given you some sort of feeling or intuition for what degrees of freedom means. In the next video, we're going to cover what it exactly means for um, the world of statistics.